Hello, I'm Mr. Charlie and welcome to High School Physics A. This class is intended as a general introduction for students who haven't seen physics before. Uh, I will not be teaching to any particular exam, for example the SAT or the AP exam. There are other classes more suitable for that if you're trying to prepare for that. But it's going to be a good a general introduction for students looking to kind of get their feet wet and see what physics is all about before taking some kind of year-long high school class. Or it could also serve as a brief review if you're kind of shaky on your foundations and want to go over some of your basic material again. So with that being said, this is High School Physics A. We're going to cover uh, more or less the basic high school curriculum for the first semester of high school physics. And that will include kinematics, the study of motion, units and vectors, of course, um, the study of energy conservation, linear momentum, angular momentum, angular kinematics. Uh, if we have time at the end, maybe some waves and uh, optics, if we're lucky. But for the most part, the, it's mostly focused on motion and what causes motion, why things move, how things move, how we relate their motion to their acceleration and energy, and just basically techniques for solving the motion of objects. Uh, physics B would, the Physics B class will continue with I'll tell you about electricity and magnetism and maybe some quantum effects and some of these other, uh, other subsequent topics. So this is going to be all uh, fall under the umbrella of Newtonian physics or classical physics, physics all developed by Isaac Newton himself. And so uh, that being said, before we get started, I wanted to say a few words about myself and why I think it's important for you to study physics. So I'm, uh, I guess I'm Mr. Charlie, I'm 22 years old and I graduated from Brown University. I have a degree in physics, of course, so that's why I'm teaching physics. I think it's one of the most beautiful subjects ever devised by human beings. And it's, I think it's just really important for everybody to study it, and that's why I want to share that with everybody. Um, why do I think it's so important? Well, I mean, on the one hand, physics is a very, is a very practical discipline. Uh, it increases your problem-solving abilities. It helps you be able to look at a complex problem and reduce it to, and you know, eliminate all the unnecessary parts and reduce it to the few really qualitatively important aspects and then neglect all of the kind of peripheral details uh, that just distract from the problem solving and we'll be talking about that again later in this lesson. Um, so it helps with problem solving abilities, it increases your quantitative reasoning, your ability to work with numbers and to just reason on numbers. And, you know, one common pithy uh, definition of what is a physicist is that a physicist is a person who can, who can estimate anything to within an order of magnitude. You know, an order of magnitude of course being a power of 10. 10 to the 1. <clears throat> so anything from you know, uh, 11 to, to 190 is with, or to, to 900 is within the order of 100, right? Uh, so that's what it means by an order of 10, or order of magnitude. So I think that's really important. That gives you really useful hands-on skills, uh, numerical reasoning, quantitative analysis, uh, problem-solving abilities. And these skills are very useful in of course, academia, in teaching, but also in a wide variety of fields. You, I, mean, I, I know physics majors from Brown who went on to be uh, CEOs of companies that I've talked to, uh, who've worked on Wall Street and the finance market. I mean, almost any job that requires any kind of good familiarity and comfortableness with math comfort with math and numbers is going to be, uh, I feel there's going to be a huge boon to that, and that's something most jobs these days, right? So that's the practical side, but on the most, more romantic side, you know, this is why, that's not why I study physics. I don't study physics to get a good job. I personally totally study physics because I had a deep passion and passionate curiosity about how the universe worked, and I really want to understand that. And uh, what I came to realize throughout my years of studying physics is that it's not that understanding how the universe works, it's just an increased appreciation of reality, and an appreciation of the beauty and the elegance and the complexity of the universe in which we live. You know, for example, I look at this board and I don't just see a, so 